Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Patricia and this is Cole Family Farms. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of a kitchen remodel that we did. We tore out the old barnwood countertops. They were really getting dilapidated. They required a lot of care and treatments to uh, keep them functioning and waterproof. It just got to be too much. So this weekend we went to Home Depot. We picked out some new countertops. I'm just ecstatic on the change that it did to our kitchen and how it lightened it up. Let me turn you around and I'll show you what we've done. All right, so this is most of the view of our kitchen. The white countertops or the granite looking countertops, it's just laminate is what we went with. We still have this, we still have this piece right here to finish out. And I just think it looks so much better. We still have a little piece right here to fix and push down and make them sandwich together so that the seam looks seamless. But that's minor. We can get that fixed in the next few days. All the way down, got a drawer. We have a drawer we still need to put back in. This piece right here, the runner that the drawer sits on is broke, so we've got to replace it. Got a new faucet, and I just love this. You push it back, and that's the hot water. And then it sprays, and of course it comes comes off the thing there. But yeah, I am really loving that quick changeover. Super easy. Soap dispenser, which I really wanted, so I was able to get that. But here we go. I just think the look is so much better than what it was. We got black cabinets with a gray color on the bottom. The hardware I picked up probably two years ago, which I've had them, I've had them on there um, at Hobby Lobby. When Hobby Lobby was doing their 40 or 50% sale is when I picked up all of those. We're gonna leave the open cabinets there gonna leave that open cabinet there put that one drawer back in and then this open cabinet right here we're gonna end up taking those rungs out I'm probably gonna find a small trash can that I can put in there so we can close the trash can I like the open shelf here I'm gonna put a board right here and close that up Just another overview. We got French doors right there. We have one pantry right there. We have another pantry down the hall. And then we have another pantry. This I keep my equipment and stuff in for cooking. But that's our little simple home farmhouse kitchen. All right, I am going to prepare a simple meal tonight and a, a lemon blueberry ice box cake. So the ingredients that you're gonna need to make the lemon blueberry ice box cake, you're gonna need one can of blueberry pie filling and this is a 20, this is a 21 ounce can. You're going to need about one and a half of the graham crackers, a little extra lemon juice to make it lemony. I'm also adding a box of instant lemon pie filling. And I've got one container of the whipped cream. Now I go ahead and I go ahead and whip it all up, but all you're gonna need is a half of this container to make this recipe. 
I do not use a very big dish. This is not a 9 by 13. It's just my husband and I. And let me see if I can find the size on this. It's just a really small anchor hawking. It says it holds, it's a 1.5 quart dish. I'm just going to stick it in this little dish right here. Because this is all that two people can eat. Alright, so to get started. I break out my KitchenAid mixer for this. So I'm going to pour in all of it. Remember, you don't have to pour it all in. But heavy whipping cream is what you're going to need in order to make this. Now, if you whip it too long, it's going to turn to butter. So this is one I recommend that you stay with. I started on out at about two, let it mix. And then I'll speed it up just a little bit. If it gets the sloshing outside of your container, slow the speed down, but mine's gonna be okay on four. Gonna speed it up a little bit more. It's getting a little bit thicker on me. Getting to thicken up, I'm going to turn it off just for a second because it is definitely thickening up. And this is the point that I'm going to go ahead and put my package of instant lemon jello in it. really getting thick at this point so do not walk away from this if you walk away and forget that it's mixing you're going to come back to lemon butter i'm going to speed it up just a little bit How I want it to look. look how thick that is it is not coming off the spoon now if you want to add a little splash of lemon juice which I'm going to do I'm going to do that give 
it a little quick mix. Not for very long. All right, that's good enough. We don't want lemon butter. I almost forgot one important step. Let's get some sugar and make, make it a little bit sweeter. All right, that's good enough. I'll finish folding it in with, with my uh, spatula. I'm gonna add just a little bit to the bottom, spread it out. I want this to hold my graham crackers to the bottom. Kinda act like just a little bit of glue. three on the bottom with a little lemon filling. And you can layer this however you want. little bit of pie filling on top of this. I'll just be sure that I get all the pie filling all the way to the edge. I'm going to go back and layer it with graham crackers again. More of your whipped cream on top. Another layer of graham crackers. I'm gonna try to squeeze in some right here on the end. Back with another layer. layer of the blueberries. All right, and one last layer. I'm gonna put the graham crackers right on top. A 
and then I'm going to finish it off with just a layer of lemon cream filling on top. And I have a big smoothing spatula here. What I'm going to do is just go straight over the top. Be careful not to push too much of that pie filling off. And there you have it guys that is so easy a quick and easy no bake recipe you can see the layers all the way around it's best after it's had a chance to sit in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to compress all of those layers together so i'll come back and show you later what it looks like Alright, so the lemon blueberry icebox cake has had time to set up. I've had it in the fridge for probably about three hours now. So let's go ahead and cut into it, look at all the different layers, and give it a taste test. There it is, all the different layers. Let's get in. All right, how about, how about that for a dessert? A lemon blueberry icebox cake. And I just cut a little piece out of it. Hopefully you can see the different layers we have going on. So just to recap, these are, this is a layers with graham cracker heavy whipping cream with lemon jello pudding in it then and then layered with blueberry pie filling and then just repeat that layer as high up as you want to go now you don't have to just use the 1.5 quart dish that i have here you can also use um, a bigger dish I think most people would probably do a 9 by 13 if you were going to be doing feeding a family. But it's just my husband and I, and this is going to be all that we need to eat. Thank you, guys. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you want me to try some other dishes, just let me know, and I'll work up a recipe for those, too. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good day.